Well, lots of college talent playing summer ball. The Livonia Firebirds and Toledo Hawks playing from Owens Community College. Bottom of the third, knotted up at one, Elliot Veenstra, who plays at Ohio Northern, drops this one deep into right center. That'll give Ryan Thompson from Finley enough time to score as Feenstra slides. He's safe at third as the Hawks take the lead, but there were several lead changes in this one. Top of the fifth, Firebirds on top. Alex Finkel of Kalamazoo College, sack fly caught by Dakaya Shaw, who played at Oklahoma Baptist. Noah Perk scores as Livonia takes the lead. Toledo able to respond, sends this game into extra, where something you don't see every day happens with a runner on the corner. Antonio Grizzoli hits a two-run triple, but due to a lineup error, both runs were erased, but the Firebirds stay hot. They go on to win 7-5. And with more from Perrysburg, let's turn to Mason Lowry and Scoot Miller. Well, that's three games in this weekend series now, the third of the three to go extra innings. And I think we could safely say, even without having seen yesterday's games, this was the most interesting of the bunch. It really was. Uh, never a dull moment out there. A lot of crazy things happened. We saw some stellar plays. We saw some clutch base runs, some clutch hits. But uh, credit Livonia, they pulled out another one in extra innings. Yeah, how many games do you see nearly end up get decided on essentially a clerical error with a Firebirds player? batting out of order, having should have been taken out of the game already. That, that's a reminder for anybody watching any young coaches. You've got to always make sure the lineup card's correct. It was incredible. You know, a two-run triple that was erased in extra innings because of a batting out of order infraction, illegal substitution. But uh, credit Livonia, they stayed with it. Uh, the Hawks couldn't quite uh, take advantage of it. They come up a little bit short. But a classic game uh, between both teams, and I'm sure uh, they're going to have another one before this series ends. Really like the gutsiness of this Toledo Hawks team. They didn't get a ton of hits today. They didn't hit especially well against T.J. McAllister, the starting pitcher in particular for the Firebirds, but they just kept grinding away, and I loved how aggressive they were on the bases. But that part you had to be impressed with. They only had four hits, but yet they scored in six of the eight innings. And, and remember, for the innings, they scored runs. They did not have a hit, so they did a great job of manufacturing runs. But credit Livonia, they had some solid pitching that just never allowed uh, the Hawks to get comfortable offensively. Part of the fun of Summer League Baseball is seeing who the standouts are, either guys we haven't seen before or guys we haven't seen in a while. I'll give you a couple for the Hawks. Jakaya Shaw was really, really good in his career at start, is now playing collegiately out in Oklahoma. I thought he was terrific out in center field and had a couple of hits. And Aiden Nicewander, young left-hander, is now pitching at Sienna Heights only through three innings in the spring. Looked awfully good in relief. Boy, those two were awfully good. You, you mentioned Shaw, you know, being stellar out there in the outfield. Had a couple web gems. Also reached base three out of four times with two hits, a run scored. But nice one or two was a was great boost for Coach Ed Mock out of the bullpen. You know, had that uh, nice uh, three strikeout inning there where he came in relief. And then he's put up another zero later. But uh, again, uh, credit Livonia, they just uh, kept coming up uh, with plays. We had a lot a lot of lead change in this game, a fun game to call, but uh, Livonia pulls out game three of this four-game set. Yeah, certainly was a fun one out here at Owens. We'll send it back to you.